You might look at the title of this video and think, that's a bit of a bold statement to make. But it seems like every publisher has the holiday season in their crosshairs. I mean, it makes sense. Leading up to Christmas, people are likely to spend more money, and they're hoping that you buy their new Juggernaut title. Unfortunately, in the gaming industry, there's an unwelcome trend. The trend of release now, fix later. And it got me asking a few questions. Why does this keep happening? Is it that having a release window set in stone means that games are doomed to lack quality? Is it complacency from both publishers and developers? Or is it us, the gamers, who expect too much from games? After putting much thought into it, I'd say it's two of the three. I'd say it's a combination of complacency and strict deadlines. I think it's only reasonable that gamers get what they pay for, a finished product. Look, I'm not doubting that the people who make these games want us to enjoy them. There's probably many developers whose scope is titanic in nature, but you can't deny they're partly responsible for bringing an unfinished product to market. It's been said that controversy creates cash, and the games industry has seen plenty of controversy. Broken promises, unhappy gamers, and money lining their pockets. But what if game deadlines weren't so strict? Would the gaming industry be in better shape? Would it change anything at all? Sure, there might be consequences if this were to change. The hype train might lose some steam. You only have to look to X Defiant as a recent example of this, is awaiting the proper certifications from the console titans. It was scheduled for a mid-September release date, but it's been pushed back. And there's probably a lot going on behind the scenes that we don't actually know about. Mark Rubin, who's the executive producer at Ubisoft, has pulled back the curtain and gave some insight and continues to give people updates about what's going on with X Defiant, which I think is a good thing and should be encouraged in the industry. Being transparent is totally the right approach. It's undeniable that a section of the community is starting to grow frustrated, and maybe even losing some interest in X Defiant. Hey, if you're new here, I'm Violent Gene, and I release video essays on gaming topics once a fortnight. These are just a collection of my thoughts, and I hope that you enjoy. If you do, leaving a like and subscribing if you feel inclined would be highly appreciated. Finally, if you would like to support what I do, I do have a Patreon, it's linked in the description. Now back to it. Consider this for a moment. What would you rather? GameX announces that it's going to push back a highly anticipated title for 6 months to continue QA testing, all in an effort to make sure that the game is polished and that the release day goes as smoothly as possible. Or would you rather that GameX releases and they spend 6 months playing catch up to be in a place where it should have been when it released? Let's rewind to 2021. Halo Infinite surprises everyone and drops its multiplayer a month before the campaign. Not gonna lie, being a Halo fan, I was beyond hyped. It was a breath of fresh air. But as quickly as that air exhaled from my gamer lungs, I noticed that it had been infected by flood spores. It was another infection of modern game launches. The lack of content and issues were apparent, and interest quickly dropped off. The Steam figures definitely reflect that. The game was scheduled to release for the holiday season alongside the launch of the Xbox Series X in 2020. But after the showcase trailer wasn't received well months before launch, Microsoft and 343 wisely decided to postpone the game. When we did get our hands on it, it was very clear that it needed more time in the oven. Almost two years later, and the game is getting promising update after promising update. Can you imagine how many players would have stuck around if this version was the one that they got instead at launch? This release now, fixed later, really sours people. Cyberpunk 2077 is another shining example of this practice. There were accusations of misleading marketing and review practices, a broken launch, and disappointed gamers. It got so bad that Sony and Microsoft agreed to offer full refunds for digital copies. Sony also decided to remove it from its PlayStation Store until further notice, which was a rare and drastic measure for a major title. From bad to worse, CD Projekt Red also got tied up in a lawsuit because of it. A group of investors sued CD Projekt Red for allegedly misleading them about the game's quality and performance on consoles. They claimed that they suffered financial losses due to the game's poor reception and also the refund requests. The lawsuit was settled in January 2023, with CD Projekt Red agreeing to pay $1.85 million. This amount was much lower than the estimated maximum potential damages of $11 million. The settlement also ended legal disputes between parties and allowed CD Projekt Red to focus on improving the game and restoring its reputation. Much like Halo, with a lot of updates, it's in a playable state. Cyberpunk was recently on a Steam sale, and I actually picked it up. I didn't get to experience all the game-breaking bugs that many did. I may have experienced some minor ones in the current build, but nothing too major. But wow, I saw all those videos, and it was partly the reason I hadn't picked it up earlier. And that brings me to today, with Payday 3. I couldn't even play for at least a day or two after launch. 
The servers were clearly overloaded and there was a lot of matchmaking issues. For some people this might be their first payday experience. It was available day one on Game Pass. And the way it launched, it's not a good look. Leading up to the game's release, Starbreeze hosted many live streams answering viewers' questions. One viewer was concerned about no offline mode and an online only approach to the game. Mr. Dr. Pepper says since the game is online only, what happens if the servers go down? Well, they won't, is my answer. And then another broken promise. As of recording this video, it's been about six weeks since Payday 3 released. And there hasn't been a single patch yet. And there's a lot that needs to be addressed. While I was editing this video, Payday dropped this statement. It acknowledges their lack of communication and their intention to get the patch to all players as soon as possible. I definitely appreciate that the team is looking to rectify these issues, but a time frame's needed of when they're going to make good on these promises. Let's not get it twisted, I'm enjoying the heck out of this game. But I fear that if nothing happens soon and the team doesn't sort out clear communication, it's just going to be another modern gaming fiasco. Which sucks because it's got the right foundation to be something great. Developers pour countless hours and passion into these titles and they want us to enjoy them. We may not always agree with certain decisions they make, but I don't think their work should go unappreciated. I might be just screaming into the void a little bit here, but maybe, just maybe, strict deadlines and crunching in the gaming industry needs to go. Who knows, maybe the quality of games will improve, or we continue to go down this road and nothing changes. Controversy creates cash after all.